Check my check. What's kicking, family? Mr. Batch, I'm glad that you've clicked in so I can check in with you. Right now, the NFL Combine is going on. And they're looking at uh, who is who and what kind of 40 times, verticals, and etc. That being said, this is what's key to me. There was significant change in the NFL this past offseason, and they had a coaching carousel. Let's run it down. Tom Cable, Oakland Raiders. It's the 15th anniversary of the Royal Oakland Raiders and just win, baby. Jamarcus Russell hasn't shown me much. What can they do? Not a very good record last year, but let's see how they can move on. Jim Caldwell is taking over for Tony Dungy and the Baltimore Baltimore Colts, woo, Freudian slip. The Indianapolis Colts, after Tony Dungy has retired. I think Jim Caldwell will do good. He was an inside man, and they're going to keep progressing forward. Peyton Manning is comfortable with him. Todd Haley over at Kansas City. Uh, one of the new trends in these new hot new assistants inside of a system, and that's going to get a shot at a head coaching job due to the fact that uh, they had some college guy down in Atlanta quit in the middle of the season. Those college guys, that's it. I don't think that you're going to get any more uh, time out here. Saban, he did his thing in Miami, went back to college, and became successful in another program. But let's get back to the pro. Eric Mangini. He used to be the head man at the Jets. Now he's with the Cleveland Browns, and they're going to keep Mr. Cornell on also. I guess they owe him a lot of money, so they might as well use, utilize his brain power so that they can get something done. Cleveland Browns, uh, I don't know, maybe 500 this year. Josh McDaniels with the Broncos after Shanahan was uh, let go after all these years. Josh McDaniels, another Another one of those hot assistants that's moving up the, the food chain, and now he's a head coach. Well, I don't know. Let's see how the Broncos uh, do that. I mean, now they have a system in there because Shanahan was there for so many years and ran the whole ran the whole kitchen caboodle and the stable and everything like that, and they were pretty successful, but they haven't been able to get over the hump the last couple of years. Jim Mora, Jr., Playoffs? Oh, no, sorry. That's his dad. His dad was the one who said that. Jim Moore Jr., who used to be in Atlanta, then let go and then made a statement that he wanted to take over the Washington Huskies job because he was joking with a couple of guys on the radio, now is in the NFL. Well, he's always been back in the NFL. But after Mr. Nolan was released, Mike Singletary taking over, and now he is the head coach of the San Francisco 49ers. And, you know, they started turning around, and they started playing a little bit differently, a little bit more uh, fire and, com not compassion, passion into the game. Now, and here's, here's the last one on my list, Mr. Steve Spagnola from the Super Bowl champions of 08. The New York Giants is going to take over the Rams. And uh, like they said, another hot assistant you know, from within the systems of the NFL getting a head coaching job. I wish him all the best. And folks, you let me know if any one of these teams are your favorite team that you root for on a regular, how you feel with these head coach guys coming in and going forward. This is Mr. Batch.